Now we have our new gasket. We're going to the uh, depression here goes toward the top. And if you forget that, you can feel the groove in the back of the manifold. And it's got that depression right there. So we will fit this in, and that's a good place to start in lining the gasket up, is right in that depression. Fit it into the groove all the way around. Now I've installed the hose onto the cover, and this clamp is loose so that I can do a final fitment. And I'm putting the hose clamp over here so that I can get a screwdriver or a nut driver or our flexible driver for the hose clamps onto that uh, hose clamp driver there in, onto the hex. And that way I can do the final tightening with it in place. So we'll pull this down behind and feel for the internal pipe to go over that center nipple. And I'm visually looking at the pipe that's down on the side down here to line it up with the cover. There we go. And yeah, we have to locate the pipe down here. It actually uh, just fell down by its own weight, so I'm going to pull it up and fit it over the nipple. Okay. So now that's in place. Push forward so that that O-ring goes on. And we're on on the center pipe. And we're in a good place here. Now notice how this is pushing forward and back. The pipe down here has a spring on it. So we're pushing against the spring. We'll get some bolts and start this in. I'm gonna start with the easy ones up here in this corner. And again, just make sure you're staying lined up with both of those pipes. And just make sure everything feels proper. We'll get this corner here. Hold the cover. And covering the screw with my hand here, but I'm just running it down till it's finger tight and against the gasket. So now we've got our basic placement set. We can work on getting the rest of the screws in, and we'll do that now. I'm ready to install. I've installed all of the screws except one. And show you which one that is. On the cover here, this one here in this position is the last one. Now back behind, there's a coolant hose running right there. And I was able to remove the bolt, but I cannot get my fingers down to get the bolt into that hole. I'm going to remove the coolant hose because I can tell that if I pull it off, it will give me room. The hose is right, right here. Now I've got the hose clamp. I've got the hose clamp driver on the clamp. I'm loosening the clamp. And then I'll pull the hose back off the nipple. The nipple is on the water manifold that runs between the two cylinder heads. So this hose is connected to that water manifold. And now we'll pull the hose back off the nipple. Probably lose some coolant. Shouldn't be a whole lot. Okay, now I've got the coolant hose disconnected, and I can push it out of the way. I don't know if you can see it on the camera right there. I'm just going to push it uh, aside so I can get that lower bolt into place. Feel for it. <laughs> way down there. And it's right next to the nipple on that water pipe that the coolant hose was on. So get it between a couple of fingers here. Let's see what we can do. Feel for the hole with my fingers. Once I've located it, slide the bolt in. 
if this looks a little tedious, it is. But uh, take your time, you'll get it done. Okay, so now I've got the bolt in. I'm gonna turn it by my two fingers down there. The less amount I have to turn with the wrench will make the whole job easier. Now, if you wanna remove that water hose beforehand, before you take any of the bolts out on the original cover, it will make this same bolt easier to remove. I was able to get it out without pulling the hose, but I just couldn't get my fingers down here to get the bolt back into place. So without the hose there, I can feel all of the bolts back here fairly easily. So if you're going to remove the hose anyway, might as well remove it in the beginning. So I'm gonna use my tool again. I've reversed the bit so that I'm ratcheting in the clockwise direction when facing the bolt. So in other words, tightening the bolt. And we'll run it down. And snug it, continue working around. Get the easy ones on the top first and then work yourself to the bottom ones. Tighten there. And I'll show you one of these on the bottom, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing to get to it. It takes two hands. You won't be able to see what I'm actually doing, but you get an idea of what we're working at. I'm gonna take the wrench, go down. I'm gonna feel for the bolt with one hand, with this hand. I'm gonna run the wrench down, guide the bit into the bolt head and once it's in I can then ratchet it and I usually will have to use one finger over the open end of the wrench to keep it ratcheting because the bolt won't be tight enough until it does start to tighten to make the wrench ratchet so running that down again good and snug keep the bit square in the bolt that's done that was my last one i already did all of the others so the cover is in place now we have to just connect our hoses that we've disconnected now i've been working with this yellow clamp this one's more difficult to get on sliding it on you want to spread the clamp while you slide it into place and making sure that tang on the bottom goes into the slot on the flange. Once it's fully up, we can use a screwdriver to lock these ends. There, you hear that one. Now they're both locked into the upper split up here and this is fully in place, keeping the hose from pulling off. Now all we have to do, that's done. All we have to do is put the engine cover back on and this job is finished. That wasn't too bad. A little bit tedious on these bolts, but really, quite frankly, not too bad to do. A good afternoon or Saturday morning. Now, all we have to do to finish this job is replace the engine cover. We've got that right here. Made sure that the gaskets are fit into place around the edges. We'll fit it over the mounting areas and push, 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 push. They all lock into place. Let's see. Okay, there we go. All tight, gasketing down. This job is done. Okay, we finished the job. We've got our cover in place. We did a test fire before we put our final pieces together once we had all the hoses together. Ran smooth as silk, no fault codes, no oil burning. It's great to go. We also did not have to replace the throttle body gasket at this time because our uh, internal manifold pipes did not pull out. However, we are going to do that on this vehicle. We'll do that in a separate, uh, separate video. 
uh, for replacing the throttle body and throttle body mounting plate gaskets. All of these V8s are going to need that with age. They get hard and they start to cause vacuum leaks. Now this job overall, doing the video, took about five hours. You can usually do this job in about three hours. Somebody that's done it before can do it in a couple of hours, so you can plan your time out on that. Remember, all of the parts shown are ab available at Bavarian Autosport at bavauto.com. And remember, hit your like key if you like what we're doing here and you'd like to see more. Send us comments, let us know what you think about the videos, and also what you would like to see. With that, have a great day. We're going on to our next video.